Okay, so to do the ones on the ridges, I'm just going to go, go back out and actually open up the same drip map. Okay, and we'll copy it and close it and paste it on. Control V. Okay, and for this, I'm going to keep them fairly short. So we'll scale this down and tile it a couple of times. Okay, so let's do Control T, hold Shift, and just drag them down until they're fairly small. Okay, and I think what I'll do is I'll put them all the way across, and then I'm just going to mask out parts so it's not you know one steady line. Alright, just to even it out a bit, make it look a little more realistic. Okay, so we'll go down like that maybe. Alright, hit enter and let's recopy it. Control A and C and paste. Alright, we'll get this one up next to it. Alright, flip it around horizontally. Okay, kind of line it up. And let's uh, combine these two. Five and six with Control E. And let's just check out the seam there and see if it's visible. Alright, it's right there. It's not really visible, but I'm just going to shrink my uh, healing brush down. And just quickly alt click and then just quickly paint that. Alright, just to hide it kind of. Alright, and we'll recopy it. Control A and C and paste. Control V. Okay, and we'll just drag this one up next to it. Here it comes. Alright, move along. And we'll just fill in the rest of it. Alright, let's combine them. Control E. And I'm not really going to worry about the seam too much because I don't think it's really going to be noticeable. Alright, so let's actually zoom out a bit. Alright, we'll, we'll trim the end off here. So I'm just going to drag a selection around the tank portion. Alright, invert it. Control Shift I and delete. Okay, so let's change the uh, blend mode to maybe multiply. We'll try that. Okay, so we'll set it to multiply, and I'm just going to copy this again. So Control A, C, and paste with V. Okay, and we'll just keep this copy here um, for down here at the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of line it up with the bottom ridge, and we'll just turn it off for a second, and we'll just work on this one first. Okay, so back on layer 7 here. I'm going to try to do this the same way I did up here. Okay, so we'll select it and just do uh, image adjustments. Alright, levels. And we'll quickly tweak it. Okay, we don't need them to be, you know, super dark like this. Uh, I'm just going to keep it kind of subtle. Right, I don't want to overdo it totally. Alright, so I might do it like that and again, make adjustments until you're happy. And we'll say okay. Okay, and then to be safe, I'm just going to mask out the bottom. Okay, I can't noticeably see a seam here, but uh, you might be able to. Alright, so let's just uh, add a mask. Okay, and we'll just do the same thing. I'm just going to paint with a large, soft paintbrush. Okay, take the size down a little bit, and I'm just going to quickly hit the bottom there, just in case there's anything that's visible later on. Alright, you can even use a gradient for this if you wanted to, to feather out the bottom. But this should work fine. Okay, so let's uh, zoom out, just take a quick look. Alright, so I'm going to save, and we'll see how it looks on the model, and then we might just get rid of, you know, some random parts of it to break it up more. Alright, let's save. Alright, go back over and just see if that's noticeable enough. Okay. So, it doesn't look too bad. I think we probably should remove some of it, though, so it doesn't look like it, you know, is this perfect band all the way around. Alright, so we'll just zoom in. Okay, and before I do that, I might actually just uh, delete layer 8, the one that I copied down here. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to take layer 7 and just uh, right-click and duplicate it. Okay, just because we adjusted it, and we'll use that down at the bottom, so I'm just going to turn layer 7 off. Okay, and we'll go back, and we'll just remove some of this with a mask. Okay, so I'm going to highlight the mask. Alright, again, I'm just going to use a black paintbrush. Alright. And just a soft brush. You could change it up to, you know, something more regular if you wanted to. But I'm just going to quickly kind of paint across certain parts of this just to take some of that away. You know, just random spots. And, you know, if I had a lot more time to do this, I might actually look at where the rust 
uh, marks are on our metal and then try to actually add it underneath that um, so it looks like it's you know streaking from the rust but uh, really don't have time to do that in the tutorial so you could do that if you wanted to all right so I'm just gonna go along and just randomly vary the size of my brush and just break this up all right, let's get rid of that maybe take a little bit off that end some of that and just break up anywhere you know you think it needs to be broken up I'm just gonna do that okay so pretty quick job but uh, it should be fine okay so let's turn on our layer 7 copy and we'll just move it down to the second ridge Okay, and zoom in. All right, we'll just do this the same way. Right, I'm just going to get in here and kind of line it up a little better. All right, and you can always turn the UVs on to have a you know an easier time seeing where it is. But just put it underneath like that, and I'm just going to do the exact same thing here. All right, select the mask and just paint it. Right, let's make the brush a bit bigger. All right, so I'm just going to remove it um, so they don't match perfectly. Let's get rid of some of this, maybe. gonna break up anything that looks you know super straight and you could definitely take more time um, when you're doing it All right, so I might just get rid of some of this piece here okay and you also you know still have control with your opacity to you know tone it down if you want to Right, I might take it down to maybe like 85% just so it's not so overpowering. And we'll do the same with layer 7 here on the top ridge. All right, take that down a bit. They don't have to even be the exact same amount. All right, just to wherever it looks right to you. Okay, so let's fit it back to screen. Save one more time. Just take a quick boo in max and just make sure it's uh, going to work and then we'll move on. Okay, so the effect is subtle, but... Uh, that's what I'm trying for. All right, and again, if this looks totally wrong to you, just make adjustments. All right, but that's cool. We'll move on. So let's save. All right, so let's just organize our layers here. Okay, I'm just gonna name this one the bottom one, layer four. We'll just call this tank drips. All right, and then for layer seven here, let's just call that uh, tank ridge drips. Okay, I'm just gonna copy the name out of that. We'll see, and we'll go up to the layer 7 copy, double click, paste it in, and we'll just do two. Alright, just so we're organized, and I think I might start doing the pipe, and we'll get that done. So let's just actually uh, drag our ambient occlusion map up to the top of the uh, layer stack again. It's out of order. Alright, let's actually name this, we'll just call it AO. Alright, let's actually call the layer 0 guide, just to keep organized. Alright, so we'll drag it up to the top, and I'm just going to go back down to the tank ridge drips 2 layer, and we'll just uh, open up a metal map that we'll use on the pipe. Alright, so I'm going to start with metal 1. Okay, and I'm just going to take a crop at the center of this, alright, with the crop tool. And I'm going to actually take the part that has the highlight on it, the hot spot. Alright, and we'll just crop off chunk, hit enter, and just copy it. Alright, let's close this, just say no, and we'll paste it above the ridge drips 2 layer. Control V. Let's drag it up, zoom in here. All right, I'm just going to turn off the AO for a second. Okay, so let's do Control T on this and just flip it 90 degrees clockwise. All right, we'll just move it up and scale it down, holding Shift, just so it kind of fits the size we need a little better. All right, I don't want to have the uh, the hot spot here on one side like this. 
because it's going to be really bright and you're going to totally see the scene because it's not bright over here. Okay, so I'm going to try to center that hotspot. Or if you want to, you can just, you know, scale it up big enough that that's not showing anymore. So I'll do it maybe like that. Hit enter and let's get rid of the uh, rest of it. So we'll drag a selection around. Invert it. Control shift I and delete it. Okay, so for this one I'm going to leave the uh, blending mode at normal and 100% and let's just give it a name here. We'll just call it like pipe base metal or something, so we know what it is. Okay, and let's go out and open up another one. All right, I think I might just add some rust to it, so I'm going to open up this rust 2 one. Okay, I'm just going to copy the whole thing. Control A, C, close, and we'll paste it above that layer. Control V, and this one's pretty big, so we're going to have to scale it down. So let's do Control T, hold shift, and just scale it on the corner. Right, let's drag it up. Okay, you could use it this way if you wanted to, but I think I'm actually going to flip this 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, just so I have this dirty, darker stuff closer to the ground. And this is actually the bottom of mine, um, but just check and make sure you know which is the top and which is the bottom. Alright, we'll just scale it up until it fits the uh, length of it. Alright, maybe just like that. Should be fine. And hit enter. Kind of position it so you have some of the detail you want on there, and then we'll trim it. Alright, invert it and delete. Okay, and let's just call this one Pipe Rust. And for this one, I'm gonna maybe just change the blending mode. Let's turn the UVs off first. Alright, I might try this one on Multiply to darken it up a little bit. Let's actually turn the AO on too, because that's gonna make it darker. Alright, so I'm just gonna experiment here until we get one that looks kind of right. Alright, overlay might work. We'll try that, okay. And I might brighten up the rust after, but I think I'll leave it for now. Okay, and we'll just check this out in Max. Let's just do a save here. I'll take a quick look and just see if it, you know, if it looks too dark. I'm going to close that. Okay, so you can see it there. Alright, let's actually change angles so we can see a bit better. Alright, let's re-render it from here. Okay, not too bad. The color's probably good. Um, I just don't want it to be t way too dark or, you know, stand out as being way too bright. Okay, and you can see here, there's the seam right there. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing I did with the tank. I'm going to rotate that pipe around so the seam will be hidden on the back. Alright, so let's just do that quickly. Alright, so we'll select the model again, go back into the Modify uh, panel, drop into Edit Poly, just say Hold Yes. Okay, back to Element, and I'm going to turn on Show and Result. Okay, we'll just grab the pipe there. Alright, it's a little awkward to see. Right, I'm going to go around to the back here, and just rotate this until I see the seam come around. Alright, just keep going. Alright, let's actually turn this off. I think that's it right there. It's a little hard to see. Alright, so I'm just going to rotate like that and we'll just turn off element. Okay, you can see it there. There it is. Okay, so I just want to have that face in the back so when we render from the front, you're not going to notice that. Okay, do one last check. Okay, it looks good, so we'll just add some moss to it and that'll take care of the pipe. Alright, so let's uh, just go back to the top of the stack here. We'll do a save. Now that we have it rotated, and we'll just go back and add our moss. Let's just fit this uh, back to screen. Okay, and same thing with the moss as we did earlier. We can either do it from scratch and use the moss image to just make a new mask for it, or we can copy off some of our moss down here. Okay, so that's up to you. I think just to be a little quicker, I'll just copy some of my moss from a different part. So I'm going to turn the AO off here just so we can see it a bit better. And let's go down to our moss layer. Alright, and I might take it just a piece off of maybe right here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in down there. Okay, and we'll just uh, drag a selection around a chunk of it. Alright, let's just take maybe this chunk here. Okay, and we'll do Control uh, C and then paste with Control V. Okay, and then we'll just drag it up. Alright, I'm just going to zoom back out. Alright, drag that chunk up to the pipe. And it's going to be underneath, so let's actually drag this uh, layer up to the top for now. Alright, 
above our pipe rust layer so we can see it. And I'll probably combine this with the other moss and then we'll just move that up to the top when we're done. And I might reorder some of these uh, as we go here. Okay, so we got our moss up here. So let's do control T on it and just flip it uh, clockwise, 90 degrees. Okay, we'll just line it up. I'm just going to decide uh, what part I want to use here. And again, we just have to be careful of our, our edges here because um, if we have it stuck over like this, um, it's going to come to the edge there and then it's not going to continue around the seam. So I'm just going to move it around maybe. Okay, I'll do it like that. Hit enter. And uh, we'll check it out in max. And then uh, if we have to, we'll get rid of this. I'm just going to crop off what we don't need. All right, let's turn the uh, guide back on. All right, just reselect it, invert it, and delete it. Okay, so we'll turn the guide off, and we'll just save again and see if that looks okay. All right, just click so it refreshes. All right, so I'm just going to check out the seam on the back here. Okay, and you can see what I mean here. Um, it stops right at the seam, and it doesn't continue on. So I'm going to take that little chunk out, and we'll have to turn our ambient occlusion back on to get a better idea of how it's actually going to look. So let's go back, and I'm just going to maybe add a layer mask to this layer too. All right, I'll just paint in there with a black soft brush again. All right, make our brush a bit bigger, and we'll just mask some of this out. All right, let's take our opacity up to 100%. All right, just get rid of some of that. And again, the seam's on the back now that we moved it, so you're not really going to see it. But if you did do a render from the back, you want it to be you know, as hidden as possible. All right, so we'll do that, and let's turn on the AO and resave. And we'll just jump back over and just make sure that's going to be uh, usable. All right, just click. Okay, so it, it looks fairly good. Um, the seam's not too noticeable. All right, so let's just render from the front here again and make sure the moss is going to work out. All right, just find an angle and active shade. Okay, so that's probably good. Um, it looks like it's matching uh, the overall look of everything else. Okay, so let's save here. And we'll just move on and just do the roof. And we don't have very many pieces left, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, so let's grab layer 2 and the moss layer, holding control, and we'll combine them. Control E, and just rename this moss. Okay, just so all our moss is together on a single layer. And I'm going to leave it at the top of the stack. Alright, so let's zoom out, fit this to screen, we'll turn the UVs back on, and we'll just open up some metal for the roof. Okay, so I'm going to start with metal 1 again. Alright, we'll copy the whole thing, close it, and paste it on. Control V, and I'm doing this right above the moss layer for now. We might reorder them after, but uh, for now we'll stick it there. Okay, so let's zoom in here. We're going to have to do a couple of tiles, probably. Alright, so getting close, let's turn off the AO. Alright, and we'll just position this so it covers up the roof. All right, maybe like that, and we'll paste again, control V, and we'll just cover up the bottom of the roof and the bottom of the tank with the same texture. All right, so we'll just move it over, get the edge between the chunks. All right, let's move over. Okay, I'm going to do control T and flip this horizontally, All right, just to match the color a bit there. All right, and let's combine these. Actually, let's go in before we combine them. We'll zoom in on the pinnacle here. And we're going to have this totally noticeable seam right across the pinnacle. So rather than try to patch that out, I might just chop a piece of this off first before we combine them. Okay, so I'm going to grab the uh, polygonal lasso tool. And if it's not there, just hold down the left mouse button and select it in list. All right, and we'll just quickly cut this part off the uh, left side. Right, just grab a selection like that, and on layer 3, we'll hit delete. All right, just to make sure we don't have a seam. All right, and now let's combine them. 2 and 3 together, control E, and let's just name this uh, roof base metal. Alright, and we'll leave it at uh, normal and 100% for now, and let's actually zoom out again. Alright, so we're going to have to trim this, obviously it's overlapping our wood, um, but because it's not just a shape we can grab with the uh, selection tool, I'm going to just make another layer that we can use to grab that selection anytime we want. Okay, So let's just go back to the uh, polygonal lasso. All right, we'll start up here underneath the tank, click, and I'm going to hold down shift to keep the line straight, and we'll just go across to the other side of the roof. All right, click over here. All right, we'll go straight down in between our uh, board here and the roof. Okay, and we'll just stop maybe right there, click, and we'll go diagonally down. 
right click again, go across. Right click, I'm just going to go up a bit here. Click again, go across to between our footing blocks and the roof. Click on the other side and go up to where we started. Alright, so we have this this shape selected here. Okay, and you just want to make sure you're not going to clip anything. You can see I'm pretty close to running over the edge of the roof here. Okay, but that should be fine. Okay, so if you have to just make adjustments, you can always add to your selection with the uh, selection tool if you hold down shift. Right, you can just make that a little bigger. Alright, so if that's selected, let's zoom out. And I'm just going to make a new layer here. Hit the new layer button. Okay, and on this layer, I'm going to use the paint bucket and black and just fill that shape with black. Alright, so with that selected, I'm just going to go grab the magic wand and we'll just click up here. Okay, and that's going to select everything outside of that black shape. Alright, so when we go down to our base metal layer, we can just hit delete. And it's going to remove all that stuff that we want. Okay, and we can just turn this other layer off. Alright, so that'll just make cutting this stuff out easier. Alright, so let's go up to this one, our new layer, and I'm just going to name it Selection, just so we know that that's what that layer is for. Okay, and we'll drop back down to our base metal layer, and we'll just open up another one here. Okay, so I think I'm going to put some rust on this, so let's maybe open up uh, Rust 2. Alright, we'll just copy the whole thing, close it, and paste it above our base metal. Alright, and the same thing here, I think we're going to have to use a couple of tiles, so let's just scale it down. Control T and then hold shift. Alright, we'll take it down a bit. Alright, we have some color variation here. You can see this side's darker than the upper part, but um, that's okay. Right, I might just scale it a tiny bit bigger. I just don't want to have any of that white stuff showing up on the edge of the roof. Okay, so maybe like that. We'll hit enter. Recopy it. Control A and C. And paste it again. And we'll just do the same thing. Cover up this side over here. Alright, make sure you got this the edge in between the chunks. Alright, let's do control T, flip it around. Let's flip it uh, horizontally. Might flip it vertically on this one as well. Okay. And we're not really gonna be able to see, you know, this stuff. The tank's gonna be completely covered and then the bottom of the roof you're not really gonna see, so we don't have to be too careful here. But I do want to make sure I don't have the edge of the picture showing up, so just position it a bit better, hit enter. Okay, let's zoom in so we can actually see what we're doing. Alright, and let's do the same thing with the pinnacle. We'll just trim off a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in down here. Alright, let's turn off this layer for a sec. Okay, just want to make sure that this one's going to cover the full span here. Okay, so on layer 3, we'll just uh, grab a selection again with the lasso. Alright, quickly draw that out. Alright, and delete on layer 3. Just to chop it out of there. Alright, let's get rid of that selection. Okay, we'll fit back to screen. And let's combine them. Layer 2 and 3, control E. Okay, and we'll just call this roof rust or something. Alright, and let's go back up to our selection layer, and I'm just going to use the magic wand and select it again. Okay, drop back down, hit delete to get rid of the parts we don't want to have. Alright, and for the blending mode on this one, I might switch it to... Let's try Multiply. It's going to make it dark. Um, let's actually turn the EVs off too. Alright, I'm going to turn the EVs off and turn the AO back on. Alright, so let's put on Multiply. I'm just going to take the opacity down slightly. Alright, we'll do that maybe like 80 or 85%. Okay. And then we'll just keep going. We'll add another one to the top of this. Right, actually, let's just save quickly and we'll check it out in max and see if it's uh, looking decent. Alright, jump back over and we'll just take a quick look. Alright, so I'm just going to exit Active Shade and we'll just move out so we can actually see the roof here. Okay, and let's turn it back on. Okay, so not looking too bad. Um, it's a little too light though, I think. Um, our tank is really, really dark and dirty, so I'm going to make this a little darker, just so it'll kind of look like it goes together. Alright, so let's do another save here in Max while we're at it. Alright, we'll go back to Photoshop and just add another layer to this. Alright, so we'll go back out and just open up another one, and I might use this Metal 2 one again. 
just to add some variation to the color. So let's do a crop on this. I'm just going to grab maybe, let's take the right half of it. All right, so crop a piece off. I'm just going to cut off the scrapes. All right, let's move this down a bit. All right, hit enter, and then let's just patch these little uh, marks out with the uh, healing brush, spot healing. All right, just click on them, get rid of them. And we already did this once. I forgot to save it, though, so that's why I'm doing it again. All right, get rid of that, get rid of that. All right, and let's take that out of there, too. All right, we'll copy the whole thing. Control AC, close it. All right, paste it on. And this is going to be kind of small, so we're probably going to have to tile it a couple times again. All right, so let's just get it on the roof here. And if you wanted to, you could try to scale it up to fit the roof, but uh, it's going to lose quality, so I'm going to try to just make a tile of it and we'll see if it works. If not, we'll, uh, we'll stretch it a little bit. All right, so let's just stick it maybe right there, and we'll paste again, Control-V. All right, and we'll cover up the bottom half. All right, so I'm just going to do Control-T on the bottom one, flip it vertically, and we'll just see if we can get it in there so it won't be too hard to actually patch out. All right, so I'm just going to move it up maybe a bit like that. Okay, we'll hit Enter there. All right, and let's actually go in a little closer. And I'm just going to try to erase this seam. Okay, so you could mask it out, and maybe we should mask it out just to be safe. All right, so on layer three, I'm just going to add a mask. Okay, and we'll go back to our paintbrush for black color and see if we can get rid of some of this so it's not so uh, noticeable. All right, we're going to change the bl blending mode on it anyway, but uh, all right, always a good idea to try to clean it up if you can. So get rid of some of it. All right, just so I can't really see the seam again, this will depend on your display. If you can still see it there, just go until you can't. All right, so let's combine both these layers. It's two and three, control E. Okay. And let's copy it again and paste it again. All right, and we'll cover up the other half here. All right, so move it over to the uh, bottom. All right, let's actually zoom out a bit. All right, cover this side up. Okay, maybe right there. All right, you can always turn your EO off and your uh, UVs on, just to make sure everything's lining up right. Okay, so I'll stick it like that right next to it. All right, let's turn these back on. Turn the uh, guide off. Okay, it doesn't look too bad down the bottom there. All right, so we'll just combine them. Three and four, control E. And then I'm just going to zoom in down on the pinnacle there and just make sure the seam's not too noticeable. Okay, so let's take the spot healing brush again and just paint that and see if we can get rid of it. Okay, just quickly like that. All right, let's go back to our selection layer. All right, let's zoom back out. Grab our magic wand, just click up here. Okay, drop back down to layer 4 and hit delete. Get rid of that stuff. All right. Zoom back in, and apologies, I know I'm zooming in and out and all over the place. All right, let's change the blend mode on this guy, maybe to multiply again. Okay, it's going to get significantly darker, so we might want to take the opacity down a little bit. I'm just going to play with it. All right, I do want it to be somewhat dark. Um, maybe I'll leave that at about 75% for now, and we'll see how it looks when we're done, and if we have to make adjustments, we can. All right, so let's just name this layer. I'm just going to call this one Roof Metal. All right, again, it doesn't really matter what you call the stuff as long as you know, you know what it is. Okay, so let's zoom back out one more time, and we'll do another save here and just check it out in Max. All right, jump back over. Okay, so a fair bit darker, and it looks like it goes together a little uh, better with it darker. Okay, I'm still going to add maybe some more rust to it, and we'll probably paint some grime up here too, but uh, that's not bad so far, so let's save always a good idea. Okay, and we'll just go back and continue on.